Hello, my name is Adam Inbar from CI Systems. In this video, I will explain about testing the MRTD of infrared cameras. First, a few words about some of our building blocks. CI Systems has gained experience in designing and manufacturing automatic electro-optical testers. Our testers consist of radiation sources, from the visible to the long-wave infrared, cool emitters, target wheels, targets, and other equipment for performing thermal camera testing of FLIR, FLIR testing, sewer camera testing, CCD, sometimes also referred to as visible testing or day TV camera testing, detector testing of all kinds, multi-sensor channel testing, all of these integrated into our automatic testing software. What is MRTD? What equipment is needed? And how to perform the MRTD test? MRTD stands for Minimum Resolvable Temperature Difference. It is also known as MRT. MRTD is a test that helps us evaluate the performance of a thermal camera. It enables the user to estimate the performance of the camera in the field by measuring the probability of detection, recognition, and identification of a target in the field. MRTD is a subjective test because its output is based on the user's ability and not on image processing. To perform MRTD test, you need the following setup. First, an infrared radiation source, better known as a black body. Second, four bar targets. I will explain about how to select them in just a moment. Third, a collimator. And fourth, software for performing and plotting the MRTD graph. When selecting a black body for MRTD, you need to consider 1. The black body's accuracy and stability. Since MRTD test is often performed in millikelvin resolution, it is important to use an accurate black body and also verify that it is certified as NIST traceable. NIST stands for the National Institute of Standards. 2. The size of a black body is important. When selecting a black body, try to remember that it can also be used for other tests, like uniformity. Select a black body with a big enough surface area to perform this test as well. 3. A differential black body is required for MRTD measurement. Since the MRTD test is run by setting the temperature of the black body relative to the temperature of the target, the black body controller constantly monitors the target's temperature. To perform MRTD test, you need to select at least five four bar targets with different special frequencies. Four within the Nyquist frequency of the camera and one just beyond the frequency to verify that you have actually reached the limit of the camera. The Nyquist limit of the camera is often received from the optical designer or camera manufacturer, but it can also be estimated by the following equation. Remember that the actual performance of a camera or system is based on many variables. From the window protecting the camera, lens, detector, through the image optimization algorithm, and the size and quality of the viewing monitor used by the operator. First, let me explain what is a collimator. A collimator is an optical device that simulates images placed on the focal plane to the distance of infinity. Another way of explaining is that a collimator is an optical system that projects images focused at infinity. When selecting a collimator, one, the collimator should be diffraction limited not to degrade the quality. Two, as a rule of thumb, the focal length of the collimator should be at least three times longer than the focal length of the camera. Three, a spectral band must be compatible with the camera. For example, at CI, we use mirror-based collimators for with a spectral band from 0.4 to 14.6 microns. And lastly, remember that MRTD test is not limited to the lab. It can also be done in the field using a ruggedized collimator and a block body system. To run the MRTD test, we first have to understand the idea behind thermal imager. A thermal camera are sensitive to the temperature difference of objects captured within the field of view of the camera. This ability to distinguish objects linked to the thermal and special performance of the camera. A four bar target, special resolution, simulates the size of the object. The target's temperature, along with the background temperature generated by the black body, simulates the contrast difference between the object and the background. The delta T that is measured in the test 
is the temperature difference between the target temperature marked as target and the black body's temperature. To run the MRTD test, set the first 4 bar target to the coulometer's focal plane. Set the differential temperature to plus 1 degree. This temperature is to verify that you can see the 4 bar target clearly. For different cameras, the initial temperature varies. Reduce the differential temperature until the 4 bar target vanishes. When the target vanishes, record the temperature as delta T positive for target number 1. Set the differential temperature to minus 1 degree. Again, reduce the differential temperature until the 4 bar target vanishes. When the target vanishes, record the temperature as delta T negative for the target number 1. Repeat these steps for all 4 bar targets until you place a target that even with a high differential temperature, it is impossible to identify the 4 bar target. Finally, to plot the MRTD graph. For each 4 bar frequency, use the following equation to calculate the MRTD value. It is important to perform the MRTD test in a short time and by the same person to keep the test condition as constant as possible. CI automated test software changes targets, set the temperature, and plots the MRTD graph for maximum productivity. Thanks for viewing my short video about MRTD testing. Contact us to learn how all of these tests can be combined into a single optical test bench. For more information and videos, go to www.cisystems.com. Thanks.